Ready to start the second half. Alabama will kick it off. He'll call for the fair catch here. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. They'll start this third quarter with a run. Crosses the 30 to the 31, a six-yard gain. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. These corners going to give these receivers some space. Using his legs, keeping his eyes downfield. And he'll get it up to the 38. It'll be a first down. It's just so nice as a coaching staff when you've got quarterbacks who make good decisions. And on a second and short play, you're throwing it. You're trying to catch the defense napping. You might take a shot. Nothing there. Go get it yourself. Make the right decision to keep it, not panic. It gets you a fresh set of hands. Sometimes a quarterback just needs to turn the ball loose. It was like he tried to guide that one in, and it disrupted the timing. Yeah, and, and just like in basketball, when, when you shoot a shot and you, you start trying to aim it, you really, really miss. You know, quarterbacks, they got to quickly be able to recognize, do I need to fire it? Do I, do I need to put a little air underneath it? And, and it's just a tough thing for a quarterback to be able to do. But over time, you see they have less and less mishaps like that. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. He's looking deep, and that'll be incomplete. They certainly weren't afraid to take a shot there, and now it's fourth down. Every defense in the country talks about getting offenses in predictable third and long situations where I can bring on more speedsters, and I know the pass is coming so I can have more success. Perhaps emboldened by converting a fourth down earlier in the game, they'll try a second time. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Oh, he's going to try to get it all here. What a snag by the defense. He'll try to take it back. And a big return after the INT sets up the offense for this possession. I love when people start to understand what we're doing defensively. If they're going to pass the football and that's where they're going to live, well, I'm going to live in dime. I'm going to bring more defensive backs on the field so I can cover more of these speed guys that they have out there. Great job by the defensive back, breaking on the football, making the INT, making the DC look very smart. Here comes that Alabama offense. This is a game of swings and momentum and a great opportunity here after scoring on the last drive, getting a stop, and now you have the football back. They're playing well right now in all three phases, and they're complementing each other. So now, David, it's up to the offense here. It's up to this quarterback to lead this offense down the field to get a score. Yeah, and to stay aggressive, to, to understand we've had success, we got this going the right way. Now I don't need to change anything. Go back to your go-to plays that's now got you some momentum back in your favor. They'll go right back to it. At the 45 on his way. Really putting together a threat now. They get the first, it's at the 37. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. From the gun, leaves it on the inside with the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose the yard on that one. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. They'll move the running back to try to force the defense to adjust. 
finds his tight end. And oh, he was off to the races after the catch, and they finally drag him down. Alabama pushing the tempo. The transition of Alabama quarterbacks over the years has been fascinating from the dreaded game manager label to playmaker. To playmaker, to spread it out, to Heisman winner. I mean, that's how much this offense has changed and evolved, and they're going to be aggressive, and they're going to score points in this new age era. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play. Timeout, Alabama. Final play of the quarter coming. Handoff to the lone back. And they get him on the ground, and that'll probably do it for the third quarter. Second down here as they go back to work after the break. Wide receiver now comes in motion. They'll go to the ground. There to stop him after a pickup of three. It's down to the 15. This is as big a play as we've had in this game. Third down and three. Looking to throw, it's Milrow. He looks that one in nicely. Touchdown tie! They've got the lead here in the fourth. I think one of the most underrated things we talk about with the QB is timing. Being able to get the ball out of his hands to his receiver where he can continue to catch the football and run with it. Nice pitch, nice catch, nice play in the fourth quarter when you needed it for this team to take the lead. Leading by one, they'll go ahead and go for two and try to make it a field goal game. Trying to punch it in. I like the decision right there. You're winning by one. You're trying to go for two to make this a field goal game. Even if you kick the extra point, the other team kicks a field goal and they still got the lead. That was the right decision. Just couldn't execute. And he hauls it in, and everybody's on the edge of their seats. He was hoping for something a little more dominant. And how about the defender? Exactly what you're supposed to do. Breaks on the football, makes the interception. Everybody on defense, we turn to offense, go lay some blocks so my guy can get it and take it back to the house. And he splits the uprights and pushes the lead to eight here in the fourth. They're lining up to kick it off after the pick six, and that defense will come out feeling it. From back of the end zone, he'll bring it out. Colorado has the ball 
back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. Well, the good news is they threw a touchdown pass last time. It was just to the wrong team, Jesse. Well, that's an unfortunate part of the game for quarterbacks. got to be able to turn the page here and lead this offense. Well, I think you know this defense is going to be aggressive. They're going to jump routes. They're going to play aggressive. you got to take advantage of that. Maybe use that this time to your advantage. Second down here, and maybe they've got time to get one more snap off before the two-minute warning. We've reached the two-minute warning, and the defense needs... stop to close this thing out. Let's see what they've got on second down. Movement from the linebackers trying to mess with the offensive line's assignments. Buying some time as he moves left. And he found plenty of running room on that one before the defense was finally able to get him down. Maybe this will breathe a little life into this offense, which has been flatlined in the second half. Here's first and ten. Looking to move it through the air. He's going up top here late in the game. And it's knocked away and incomplete the defensive back, staying in phase and batting it away. Well, this defense has had the QB's number all game long. One of the reasons why is because this cornerback, when he's on an island, he's winning the 50-50 balls, and he's not letting anything get thrown over his head downfield. Great job in coverage, disguising what he's doing and knocking balls away. Quarterback now breaking the field. He can't make the connection. It'll be incomplete. He can scramble, but couldn't create anything there. Well, they've thrown two straight incompletions, and they, they just need to play pitch and catch on this next play. They're down a possession, and you don't have to necessarily get the first down right here, but if you don't get it, you've got to at least keep the fourth down manageable to give yourself an opportunity to keep pushing the ball down the field and give yourself a shot to win. Looking downfield, it's Sanders. He's right on target. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. He knew exactly what they needed there, made the play, and got out of bounds to stop the clock. And you got to keep this turbo mode on, right? We got to keep going fast. The clock's running down. Fourth quarter, neat. Throws toward the end zone. And they won't make the connection going for the big play. Man, you know the defensive coordinator on that play was holding his breath because in the fourth quarter, you've got one of the fastest players in the game going deep on you. And that's going to be a helmet sticker for somebody. Like, forcing an incompletion against that guy? That's incredible. After the quarterback and receiver couldn't connect, it's second and ten. He's looking to throw. He's not afraid to go deep. And he pulls it in inside the 15-yard line. They make the stop at the five-yard line, and they've got it first and goal. Really nice timing on that throw. Quarterback had to hold it, allow his receiver to work his route, but he threw it at the perfect moment so that he was able to make the catch inbounds right on the sideline. Was the pass. Fires to the end zone. Another interception. This guy just can't find his own players. Big-time players make big-time plays in big-time games. Great job by the defense 